On a Delta Tour, we are back on Kamal TV, and now we are going to talk about Kamal's international success. Ten gold albums, three platinum albums, and it continues. Tell us about that feeling. I mean, it's a great feeling. You know, it's it's <clears throat> it's something that you know I've been working for a lot of years now, and 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 I know that game, and 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 it's something that I feel that is earned, you know, it's not something that came, you know, overnight. So it was a surprise definitely because we never thought that a French album could spread so so wide and, and go go worldwide basically. It came out in 17 or 20 countries, something like that, um, in French. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's especially nowadays, as I said, in the, in the business is, is, is kind of difficult right now. So it's been four or five years, it's on the down. So. When you, when you see that you're expanding and, and you're selling more and more records all over the world and people are supporting you, it's definitely a, it's a plus for us, you know, so we're really happy about it. Now it's interesting because you came out with three French albums and you sold albums in non-French markets. Yeah. What do you think the reason why you were able to sell in non-French markets is basically almost unheard of? I mean, yeah, I, I, came, I, came, I came up with a sound in French, I think was a little bit different, you know. I had already did four albums in French, and, and when I came to the stage of doing that like Good Life album, the first one that really started selling internationally, okay. I really wanted to go for something that was different. I really wanted to go for something that musically was going somewhere else. I, you know, I did, I did hip hop albums with my band, I did street albums, I did mixtapes. So I was at a point of my career where I needed to do something different to, to, for me to be excited about it and, 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 and want to do it. So I did a kind of mixture between pop influence songs. Um, I mixed a lot of you know, guitars and, 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 and rows and, and things like that on, 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 on the song. So I think it gave it a flavor that was pretty different from everything that was happening in hip hop at that time. Exactly. French is a little bit more melodic than, than English. So basically the same song that you could write in English, if you switch it to French, it would sing by itself almost because that's the way the language is okay. sounds. So, um, so I guess that also was a factor that was important because when you don't really know hip hop, and I'm talking about you know, markets like Russia or Finland or Sweden, it's not, it's not markets where you know, hip hop is really like popular or it's, 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 still like, it's still on the grow, it's still developing, but it's not like the main thing. So, when it's when when the melodies are present, when 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 the the, the beats sound a little bit more like music than samples, it definitely it's it gets easier for them to be able to listen to it and and, and appreciate it. So I guess that what happened at the beginning with radios. Okay. Well, then you feel that everybody follows after that. You know, Sweden, Finland, Austria, all those places start playing the song also, and from there we started doing exactly that. And and next thing you know, we were selling more than seven hundred thousand records in Europe. Crazy. And now, you mentioned that your album was sold in over 17 countries. Um, the Francophone countries were France, Belgium, La Suisse. Yeah. And what else? Quebec. Quebec, of course. Um, and then what were the other uh, non-Francophone countries that you sold in? Oh, I mean, just to name a few, but you know. Uh, Ukraine, Russia. Ukraine, Russia, Finland, Sweden, Germany, um, Spain, Italy, uh, Azerbaijan. I went there and, and, and we, we, you know, the success was just, yeah, and, and so we had to go back there and, and, and do a concert. It was pretty funny because I was the first ever hip hop artist to go play hip hop over there. So they really didn't know, you know, they, they didn't know exactly how to react. So they brought me the army. <laughs> I spoke to your DJ, DJ Shortcut, and yeah. he told me that basically you were in front of 75,000 people that didn't speak English. Or French, yeah, and they were singing your songs. Tell yeah, us that, tell us that feeling. Well, that was a, that that was my Moscow experience. Okay. I mean, it's not about being humble about it. It's just that I'm still like I'm still today questioning myself about how how this should happen. <laughs> you know, because when first of all, when we when we got the call from from our agent in in, in Russia that takes care of, of our records over there and saying that you guys need to come, we didn't believe him at the beginning. Okay. 
So they had like a couple of artists local and, and I was like the only international artist to go there. And next thing you know, we get there, there's in fact 75,000 people. And this is where we got the shock. They said, we just jump on stage at the end of the show. It was 11 at night. The stadium was full and, and people were singing phonetically because they can't understand the words, but they, was just, they were just singing along. So that was quite a feeling, you know. Now, I know also uh, in your career you received many awards. Tell us about some of the prestigious awards that you've received along your career. Well, I mean, two of them that are very important for me was, you know, um, the Energy Award for Song of the Year. It's very, very rare that a hip hop song will get Song of the Year. Uh, it's That's in France, right? Yeah, it's in France. A little bit equivalent to the Grammys, to the Gram maybe to the the, 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 the MTV Awards. Awards or something okay. like that. So it was Song of the Year. It was very, it was very important for me to win this one. You know, sometimes okay. you say that you you know, we we don't really compete between us, okay. but you know when you're in the when you're in a spot like that for song of the year, it's, it's, you know, a song is not like just like you shot a video or you just, it's a song or an album is your, is your creative work. It's, it's your artistic side that you went in the studio and you created something that is unique. And, and, and when, 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 and it's the most important thing about it, it's voted by, by the public. It's no, no industry people or no internet votes. So it, it's the people that just vote for the song they like the most and so that one was very important for me that the one that we won and maybe also the the three in a row so can okay. awards you know um you know it's equivalent to the ASCAP where or it's, it's it's our author and composer uh, award and and also it was for the the most popular author of the year okay okay no, you see me rocking and rolling around the world, fashionably partying, uh, talking to so many girls, popping every bottle, balling with every model. I made it. I'm so proud. I came from the bottom, but there's something. Well, the song "Let It Show," um, I think it's a very, it's, it's a hit. <laughs> I mean, that song is, you know, we started out just. I wanted to write about, you know, when you when you're traveling a lot and you're promoting and you're jumping from a party to another or from a, you know, as I said, a red carpet or another and, and you know, you, you see a lot of girls, a lot of girls wanna get in touch with you and everything and, and, and the most important thing is when you're on the road and you're missing that somebody, okay. you know what I mean? So it started out like, it started out like a very mature, uh, you know, shout out song to somebody that when you're in a position where you're traveling but you have somebody waiting for you and that even yourself wanna get back to that person. And it turned out to be more an up-tempo club song with that same subject. So it was a kind of, you know, nice mixture between a cool subject and, 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 and just hot, hot production. I know that you 